Hi, welcome to the broadcast. This is Janice Temple with World Black History on Periscope. And this is the Isaac Royal House. It is on the National Historic Landmark. And these are the slave quarters right here. So these are the slave quarters. Hello, Comatrical. So these are the slave quarters right here. So slave quarters. Hi, Twisted Sister. Hi, Intravenous. Hi, how are you guys doing? So these are the slave quarters. Thanks for the hearts. And, um, so this is the original building here. Hi, Mercedes Sheep. This is the original building right here. And when they first came, hi, how are you doing? Isaac Royal had a, a sugar plantation in Antigua. Antigua, no, that's not how you spell Antigua. I could do better than that. And Antigua, that's Antigua. You're doing good? Awesome, awesome. And when he first came, he had 27 slaves, and they all lived in this brick building here, in the brick building. And that's a pretty small. So when I first came, I thought that he, they initially that they initially had both of these, but this building, I think it took like two years for them to complete this building here. So what is special? How am I writing on the screen? Okay, so there's a new Periscope update and it's called Catch. Sketch, sketch, sketch. So you do your update and then you hold down the screen. Yeah, you hold the screen. You hold the screen down and then um, it pops up and there's a little, it says the word sketch and you click on it. It is cool, isn't it? It is. Hey, oh, at Mercedes Schick. Hey, love. So that's how you do it. So it is. It's a really, really cool feature. So this is the original. These are the original slave quarters. So 27 people were in this one building here. And, and then there's a basement, which I think is pretty unique because... Um, this was built in the 1800s. So I'm going to go closer so you guys can see it. So that's the basement there. Right there, that's the basement. And this is basically a kitchen. Thanks for the info. You're looking forward to watching this broadcast. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. And then this... This was built two years later. And um, so this, I'm gonna um, go around and read this to you. Hi, Cindy, hi, Still Fathead. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna go and read this to you. Thanks for sharing, thanks for inviting followers. So this site is important because it is um, the largest slave quarters. Hello, how are you? It's the largest slave quarters in, um, in the North because most slaves lived with their families in the North. Like most people only had maybe two to three slaves or enslaved people, I should say, enslaved people. Let me correct my speech. Most people in the North only had two to three enslaved people, whereas here, they had 27 and that was a lot. And the reason, um, because Isaac Royal had a sugar plantation. He had a sugar plantation in Antigua and they had a revolt and yeah, it is. Sketch is really cool. So they had a revolt and he had to flee and he had to come here. So. It says that the original portion of the royal house appears to have been a farmhouse constructed in 1637. And so I'm going to show you the house on the other side. 
and it was um, by Governor Winthrop as part of the Ten Hills Farm, New Hampshire. Lieutenant Governor John Usher enlarged the house and lived in it from 1692 to 16, 1692. 1692, the Lieutenant Governor lived here from 1692 to 1726. And then Colonel Isaac Royal Sr., a wealthy merchant, purchased the property in 1732. So Isaac Royal Sr. came to live here in 1732 and then he commissioned the rebuilding of the residence and Isaac Royal Sr. lived here from 1737 until his death in 1739. And then when he died, his son took over and then his son lived here from 1739 to 1775. And that's Isaac Royal Jr. And he's known for having um, a lavish lifestyle. And he was a royalist or loyalist. So he was for the British. He, he didn't think that um, America should break away and become independent. And um, so General John Stark headquartered here before the British evacuation in 1776. Generals Washington, Lee, and Sullivan visited the manu mansion. So George Washington came and stayed here around the corner. Not at the slave quarter, but around the corner at the mansion. That's where General George Washington was. So Washington stayed here, and, um, and that was from 1782 to 1784 to 1784 they stayed here and then in 1806 the state was returned to the heirs of Isaac Royal so Isaac Royal fled he fled and he went to Nova Scotia when the British came he fled he went to Nova Scotia fled is the word he went to Nova Scotia in Canada and then from there he went to England Nova Scotia Hi, Carolyn, Animate Peace. You changed your name. Nova Scotia is where he went. And then after Nova Scotia, he went to England, and he did not return. And when he did not return, one of the slaves named Belinda, she lived in this house, Belinda, she sued his estate, Belinda. I think they call her, sometimes they call her Belinda Royal. Sometimes they call her Belinda Sutton. And so with the help of Prince Hall, the Masonic uh, Lodge leader, Prince Hall, she sued the estate of Isaac Royal and she won. So she won reparations. She won reparations. So she's one of the first slaves to be able to do that. Uh-oh. She won reparations. Uh-oh. And uh, so they paid her. She had to keep going to court to get it. At first, I think they were supposed to pay her like 30 pounds or something. But then eventually, uh, she got just like, I think she got the first payment. Then after that, she had to keep going back to court and go back to court. And uh, so these are the slave quarters right here. Slave quarters that you're looking at. And this was built by Isaac Royal in 1732. And 27 black men and women lived in this original brick structure. 27 black men and women that came from the island of Antigua where he had his sugar plantation. So a few years before that, the slaves revolted and they were going to kill all the uh, landowners. So I think it was like 90% were black people on the island. And so they burned 88 
slaves, enslaved people. They burned them. That's what they did in Antigua. And so you can look it up in history. It was a big, big revolution. And uh, they quelled it by burning the people. And then he brought 27 people and uh, to live here. That's what he did. So I'm going to take you guys around and show you the house. I know, isn't that fascinating? And even, okay, so he, uh, his uh, head, his head driver was burned. So he lost one slave and that was his head driver. So these are the gardens and this is the house right here. This is the mansion. That's the mansion. It used to be the governor's mansion or the lieutenant governor lived here. So it's very opulent. And you noticed, I believe there's like 25 feet between this house here and the slave quarters. And that's very, very close. Um, it's three floors. There's three floors in this mansion. And these slave quarters, have, they also have three floors. So this is a very, very, very big slave quarters, especially for this area. And so most of the um, slaves did landscaping. It was Tin Hills Farms, so they did produce um, some crops, but he mostly had sugar. He had a distillery. He, he made, uh, I believe it is rum. So he had a distillery here too. Of course, that's what they did. And pro yes, there is a basement. Oh, over there, yes, there is a basement. There's a basement here as well. So he, they had a summer house here. So this is where they had their summer house. And Harvard Law School was founded with the sale of money from this house. So they founded Harvard Law School. And so the students recently protested and requested that they take the seal, the Isaac Royal seal of um, pla sugar plantation, cane, sugar canes off of everything at the school. So they're removing it off the windows, off the furniture, off the carpet, everything. And uh, yeah, so this, this house is, uh, has been very controversial for, for the past year because of that. So the Isaac Royal seal has now been removed, but this school was founded, I think it was like maybe $2,000 that started the first position, the first chair, and they still have that position today. And so Harvard Law School was founded on, yeah, slave labor. Harvard Law School founded on slave, the profits from slavery, basically. And that's why the students protested. Yeah, so it's founded on slave, slave labor. So the 27 people who came to live here. And uh, when he fled, he left the slaves here. He didn't take them with them. So Isaac Royal Jr., he, he fled, he went to Canada, he went to Nova Scotia, and then he went to England, and he left his slaves here. Um, and this was like on 500 acres. So, I don't know how easy it would have been for them to just walk off and leave. I don't know. I think he left it in the hands of an executor. So, uh, because the government was confiscating people's land, and he was definitely on the side of the British, but they did not take this land. They didn't take this land. They thought he was going to come back, so they kept it. And uh, they used part of the proceeds from the mansion to start the law school. So I'm gonna take you guys closer. So this house has two different 
um, architectural styles. And this was uh, the this is the uh, back of the house, and there was a courtyard here. There was brick, and stagecoaches would ride up and arrive, and then the guests would um, go into the house. And you can see over here, there are three separate doors. There are three separate doors here. And the slaves would come out of the door. The enslaved people would come out of each of these doors. So there were three separate rooms, plus over here. So there's a kitchen here, and then there's a kitchen here. And uh, this, these two rooms here are the master bedroom. And these two rooms here, I believe, of, no, this one here is of the concubine. So he had two concubines in this room, and then across the hallway, he had um, his his master bedroom. So it's it's very very it's quite interesting. It really is. And he had two daughters, a wife and two daughters. His his wife was 15 years old, I believe. He was like in his 20s. So that's the uh, cellar. I don't know if it's actually a basement, but that's the cellar. Well, it looks like somebody's doing work here. But you can see how close, how close things are. So he kept a tight rein on them after the, uh, after the, re the revolution, the revolt in um, Antigua. And that's why he fled here. And so these, these are part of the grounds, part of the garden. And this extended all the way to the Mystic River. It was 500 acres. So not only was this part of the founding of Harvard Law School, but this is also the founding of Tufts University. So Tufts University is on this land as well. So there are two universities that are tied to the Isaac Royal House. Tufts University is the other one. And so Tufts has been very, very instrumental in um, sharing the history of the enslaved people. And so this is the front of the house, and it has a different exterior than the back of the house, um, which is it's really, really very, very unique to have two different um, structures. I think one is Georgian, and I forgot what this other one is. And you can see the beautiful gardens. And so the, the enslaved people um, did a lot of the gardening. They did all of the work pretty much. But he, he did a lot of fancy dining and entertaining and uh, beautiful windows, yes. I have been inside. He would not allow me to film. So I have photos. Um, what I will do, I have a YouTube channel now. So I will make a video and then I'll share the photos of the inside on the video. But he would not allow me to film it, unfortunately. But I have been inside, yes. So it, it was, um, yeah, very, very unique. Very, very unique. So it says a symbol of elo eloquence during the royal time of oh. aromatic boxwood shrubs bordered the walk that led from the Mystic River to the east entrance of the mansion. So these are, I guess, boxwood shrubs. So they've been here since the 1700s. Quite interesting. So not only is the household, but also the uh, landscape and the plants are from the 1700s. Captain James Golette passed on October 22nd, 1750 and remarked in his diary, proceeded on our journey past through Mystic, which is a small town of about a hundred houses, pleasantly situated near to which is a fine country seat belonging to Mr. Isaac Royal, being one of the grandest in North America. And this is from the journal of Captain Francis Goulette, 
1747 to 1754 in the New England Historical and Gene Genealogical Register. So that's what that is. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? That's good, Tom. I just came back to like get some spring footage. I said, I said I came back to get some spring footage because everything I have has snow. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I need to like come back and you know take some pictures and get some video. So that's what I'm doing now. So the flowers are up. It looks beautiful in the garden. Oh yes. Okay. So tell me, the front of the structure is what? What type now? Uh, Georgian. Georgian, and the back is what? Uh, sort of uh, Palladian or Neo Palladian. Neo Palladian. So the front is Georgian, and the back is Neo Palladian. You know the, the uh, um, pediments. Good. So Palladian is sort of a is an interpretation of. Uh, Roman architecture. Roman Pal architecture. Palladio was a famous Italian architect. That's okay. quite a bit before this, but but he became very fashionable. Uh, if, okay. you, if you look him up, and and so the uh, and the doorway on the other side is actually from a, a London pattern book from about 1760. So they had a the London door, pattern book uh, from 1760 on the other side, the doorway. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's it's a. Uh, um, That's interesting. Yeah. It's it's. Uh, it is still, I, I, as I said before, when you were here before, it, it's, it's really, it's weird that the house has two different faces. It does. Yeah, it is. It is. It's very unique. I don't think I've ever seen a, a house with two different faces. <laughs> I, I've never seen that. So, yeah, it's quite interesting. You know, I wanted to ask you, so did, the, did his sisters live here? In the sister-in-law, because there's not enough bedrooms. No, no, no. Uh, Penelope marries uh, uh, Henry Vassal. Penelope he, he, marries yeah, Henry so Vassal. He's one of the, the big Tory uh, uh, loyalists over on uh, Brattle Street in Cambridge. Okay. 94 Brattle Street. 94 Br Brattle Street in Cambridge. But he dies uh, in bankruptcy, and then she actually marries his brother. Oh, uh, wow. She marries his brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, John Basil. Oh, okay. So they kept it in the family. So Isaac Royal Jr. just has the one sister. It's a small family. Okay. Yeah. Well, did the sister live here? Because he had two daughters. There's a uh, bedroom I, I, for I, them. I, I don't think so. Or maybe okay. very briefly. The, 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 okay, so the bedrooms for, are for each daughter then. Yeah, it's not clear. It's yeah? It's clear, you know, what the, what the pattern was. Hi, how are you? Yeah. I was just wondering from the archaeological dig. This is in Medford, Massachusetts. This is, yeah, so this is the front, front, this is the front of the Isaac Royal yeah, House. the traditional front, yeah. The traditional front, right. This just would have gone right down to the river. Yeah, so that goes to the river. Yeah, another garden here. Yes. Is, you know, as I said, it's this is all about money and luxury. It is, and absolutely. Display. And, and uh, you know, this image of a, of a gentleman, you know, that whole thing. Yeah. Built on slavery. Right, built on slavery. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, it does. It does. Okay, thank you, Tom. Okay, so we're gonna go around. So he he does the tours here. Tom does the tours here, and uh, when I came before, um, he's the one that took me inside. So we're gonna walk around out here. Beautiful garden. Beautiful flowers. So the horses would come this way of the stagecoach. And you see there's several entrances here. This is an office right here. This doorway leads to an office. And then this is the main parlor or sitting room on this side. So I will, um, so the YouTube channel that you can go to is World Black History on Periscope. And I will create a video and, um, add the photos in there for you so this this is the um the back of the house that he was talking about that had roman influence and style to it and he said that the doorway came 
this doorway came from a London pattern book. And so we're going to go around the garden here. So it's, it's quite interesting. This was a whole plantation. The land looks small. No, it was 500 acres. 500 acres. This is not the whole thing. So Tufts University is on part of the 500 acres. No, 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 no. 500 acres. This ran to the river. So there are houses on here now. But this is what's left of the um, of the Tin Hills Farm. Yeah, this is what's left of it right here, and it's it's a very small portion of the 500 acres. So when he got ready to leave Antigua, and he was scared for his life because the slaves had revolted, and they burned the 88 people, and uh, one of them was his overseer. Yeah, a little piece of five, yes, absolutely, little piece of 500 acres. Um, so, yeah, he, he, this house was already here, and he had this built for his slaves, for the 27 people, for the men and women. And then two years later, they extended it and added that part on. But when he first arrived, this was the original part of the slave quarters, this brick building. That's where he had them. But no, so this, this plantation in Antigua and the, the Ten Hills Farm here, it was called Ten Hills Farm. That was the name of it, Ten Hills Farm. This is tied to Harvard Law School and Tufts University. So it founded two universities with um, slave, the profits from um, enslaved people. Harvard Law, Harvard Law. Why did, what did they grow there? They didn't really grow anything. He had the plantation, his money came from Antigua. So, I mean, you know, it, it was a farm, so they had um, probably, they, they were self-sustaining in that they, you know, uh, had cows and pigs and things like that. But it wasn't a plantation where they grew to produce profit. He had a distillery. He drank a lot. <laughs> That's for sure. He entertained a lot. This was for entertaining. It was a lavish lifestyle. It was for entertaining. Yeah, that's what this was for. That's all. You know, he, he, was a, he was a gentleman of society. You know, so it was about high society. That's what this was for, high society. Yes, drinking, lots of drinking. That's what went on here. Yeah, rum, all, all, all type of liqueurs. And then he imported stuff from overseas from London, but he made his money in Antigua. He had a sugar plantation there. Party laughing out loud. Yeah, that's all he did was party. He was a party animal, party man. That's what he did. But his money came from Antigua. He had a sugar plantation in Antigua, and then he lived here. He was living in Antigua, and then when they revolted, because I think it was like 90% um, Africans, and when they revolted, uh, he fled. He couldn't live there anymore. He was afraid for his life, for his safety of his family. So he came here. And that's when he bought the 500 acres. Yeah, so that's what he did. So that's what that is about. Yeah, he should have been afraid, absolutely. That's why they burned 88 people. Yeah, so they burned 88 people, then he chose 27 and he brought them here and put them in this building. So that's quite a small building for 27 people. I, I don't know how they survived, men and women, in that, that building. 
and I'm sure it had to be a shot. No, 88 people were burned. Yes, 88 people. 88 people burned. That's what they did with them. They burned them. Yeah, that is a lot. And it was from different plantations in Antigua, but he was the largest. Were they slave masters? Yes, they were slave masters. He had, a, yes, he owned slaves. He had 27 slaves here. 27 slaves here in Medford. So this is Medford, Massachusetts. Then they should have they should have what burned them then why no he he wasn't gonna do any work he needed some people so this is Medford you can't burn everybody he only one of his was burned but there were some from the other um, plantations that were burned it was the whole island he didn't have, he didn't have, the, uh, he had the largest plantation on the island of Antigua, but not the only one. Oh, the so-called masters should have burned. Yes. Well, that's what the slaves were trying to do. They did not succeed though. And, um, but because those 88 people were burned, the students at Harvard Law protested and they had them to remove the um, seal which has the Isaac Royal crest. And in the crest are um, sugar, sugar canes, sugar canes from the plantation. That's on there, that's his symbol on his crest, sugar canes. And they had those removed from the windows, the apparel, the carpeting, um, just every place. So this this is quite a controversial um, slave slave quarters. These they're very very controversial. Absolutely, and that just happened this year. They just re started removing them. They're still in the re process of removing them. Um, so if you yeah Google it, that there are all kinds of articles. Yeah yeah. So the students were quite upset to learn that um, the law school chair was founded with money from the sale of this house. They took money from the sale of this house to found Harvard. Oh, you're so welcome. What is your name? I, it's, it's too white for me to see. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. Misty, nice to meet you, Misty. Where are you from? And thanks for the hearts, guys. Dallas, Texas. Awesome. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Misty. Thanks for joining the scope. So I'm going to close out the scope. So thank you so much. So make sure you follow me. You love history? Oh, well then follow me. I love history too. I do. Yeah, I love history as well. So make sure you follow me then. Click over here. Thanks for sharing the wonderful broadcast. We'll be watching out for more in the future. Yeah, so go to the YouTube channel. And I will put up the pictures. I'm going to make a video. And um, put up the pictures of the inside of the house. Since he wouldn't allow me to scope the inside. But I do have photos from it. And you'll be able to see what it looks like. And uh, it's quite fascinating. So just go to World black history on periscope not taught in school my daughter is 17 and i share with her everything i learned very good okay what's the youtube channel world black history on periscope that's the youtube channel so much not learned shame yeah i mean this is when i came here i couldn't believe that this was here it blew my mind it blew my mind. Gonna follow you on YouTube. Thank you so much. World Black History. 
World Black History, I think I forgot that, World Black History on Periscope. So that's the YouTube channel. And my name is Janice. I think I'm missing. So, hey Mercedes, she, thanks for inviting followers. I so appreciate you. And so my name is Janice Temple. And um, it's been a pleasure, guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing. And thanks for hearting. And I will see you guys next time. And make sure you download and get the new sketch feature. I'll have to see the replay from the beginning. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Take care. Thank you, Misty. Take care. We're just ending. Uh-oh.